Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Angel Storm. I'm the founder of Ashes to Beauty Ministries. I'm traveling around this summer, so thanks for keeping up with me and my different surroundings. Today I wanna to give you nine common mind games that narcissists will play with you. You're examining the kind of interactions that you have with other people. You can use these nine traits as red flags for if you're dealing with a narcissist. The first one is gaslighting. I have a whole video on what gaslighting is exactly, but it's essentially where the narcissist will try to get you to minimize your experience or pretend as if that experience never happened. You'll bring up something and the narcissist will absolutely contradict you. He'll say that never happened, he'll lie, he'll manipulate, he'll do whatever he needs to do in order to cover up the things that have happened. And this is done so that you doubt your own memory, your own perception, your own understanding of how it happened so that you believe that you can't even trust yourself. The second thing is that the narcissist will use negative humor and he'll do this in such a way where it'll seem harmless, especially if it's in front of other people. Regardless of what he does, the blame always comes back on you. You're not being funny enough. You take things too serious and things like that. But when in reality, this is happening all of the time and it's really wearing down at your self-esteem. Third is projection. Narcissists will take whatever they are doing and accuse you of doing this. This is one of the most common things that narcissists do. You'll have no interest in doing the thing that they're accusing you of, or it's something so outrageous that it just is such a crazy accusation, but this is what the narcissist does to take blame, to take uh, attention in a negative way off of him and put it onto you and pr make you look like you are the one in the bad light. Number four is to pretend ignorance. They'll do something that they know is hurtful or they know is wrong or even illegal and then when they get caught in the act or even afterwards and somebody else approaches them, they'll pretend that they didn't even know that that's what they were doing. They'll essentially play dumb in order to get away with their bad behavior that they know is wrong, illegal, or hurtful. Number five is guilt tripping, and this is usually done in a passive aggressive way. You'll feel bad for doing something that's totally normal or even scheduled ahead of time with the narcissist, but he'll make it seem as if that was all of your idea, that was something that you wanted to do, and so you owe him something in order to make up for whatever it was that happened. Number six is that they'll play the victim. This can be done in many different ways, but one of the ways is that they'll say, you know, I can't even help it because I had a bad childhood or I was raised a certain way or I was never taught to do that. I was never taught a healthy relationship. They'll make all sorts of excuses and in hopes of drawing you closer in so that they can, again, suck more energy from you. Narcissists are energy vampires and they have to constantly have that supply coming in from outside of themselves because they can't make it inside internally, their own self. So when they play the victim, they're gonna make you feel as though somehow now you're responsible for their current situation and you have to help them or you have to supply the energy that they need or say the words that they need, whatever it would be, and, and you're somehow now responsible for getting them out of this situation that they probably put them own selves into. Number seven is the silent treatment. This is one of the most common tools a narcissist will use because they want to pull you deeper into the relationship. They want to draw you closer. And so when there's a silent treatment, you begin to doubt if maybe you did something wrong, maybe you were too harsh, maybe you set too firm of boundaries, and it's a ploy to get you to start, again, doubting your own self, questioning your own behavior, questioning your own sanity, and it's also tying that link to the narcissist and making it an even stronger bond. Number eight is constant criticism. And this is especially when you're the superior one in the relationship, when you have more going on for you, when you are uh, uh, firmly established in your job or with your family, you have a set group of friends, the narcissist will especially begin to criticize those things that are your key strengths or your things that are you're most proud of in your life, your key accomplishments and things like that. It'll never be good enough. And the narcissist does this so that you become more uh, hinged on his opinion of how things are going than the reality of how things are going. The narcissist wants you to depend on him completely and so he'll start tearing down these things that are outside of him. Whether that's your education, your job, the amount of friends that you have, your parents if you're close, 
you know, the, the things that you love the most about your life, the narcissist will begin to pick away at those things strategically, it really goes after the things that are dear to you. And this is again, all completely strategic. The narcissist knows what he's doing. The final one is throwing a tantrum. The narcissist can do this by raising his voice or making extreme hand motions, even be physical violence included in this. But the narcissist will get to a place where he doesn't have to do a lot of this, where he's able to just give you a look or do one certain gesture. He'll just instinctively know what that means. This is a, all a form of control and manipulation to get the narcissist in a place where you completely depend on him and you react to whatever he does. He sets the tone for the relationship and the day, even every moment, and you respond, you react to what he says instead of having your own internal grounding. This is the ploy of the narcissist. So I hope these nine traits have helped you understand how a narcissist behaves and some behaviors that you need to watch out for, especially if you suspect that you are in a relationship of one kind or another with a narcissist. Again, I'm Dr. Angel Storm. I'm the founder of Ashes to Beauty Ministries and be sure to subscribe to my channel below.